Hey guys, we're doing Bubble Cup, and if you've ever seen me or as my teammates, you're about to find out why. Uh, <laughs> That's the intro. Okay. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. We're going to start with that. Oh. Hello, YouTube. I am 12T, whatever, the, I don't know how to pronounce the last part either. You don't know how to pronounce your own name? Nah. And I'm, I'm Gab Gabriel Wu. Yeah. Okay. Let's clap this bubble cup. I'm going to link their what profiles in the description. You can do whatever you want on Kofors, like friend them or something. I don't know. <laughs> what do people right, even do? Kofors doesn't have any, like... I guess friend is the closest thing to following. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Wait, do we have a spreadsheet or are we just, like, wing it? Ah, uh, there's no spreadsheet. I okay. guess we could... I mean, like... You know Maybe we you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll make a spreadsheet. Well, if we go to the dashboard, we can see the green checks. We just need to make sure that we don't, like, overlap problems. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll just make a spreadsheet. Just to be right, I'll just open up some prompts and... I'm going to skim the first okay. half. Timmy, skim the second half, and then we'll just see what's easy and what isn't. I guess. Right. I don't know. How do you want to do it, it's this? IC, it's, it's, it's normal grading, right, for time? Yeah. Normal, yeah. like, ICPC rules, everything is one point. Actually, I don't know how to check if something's easy. You can't check if anything's easy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I'll try K. Sure. K looks like math. I'm going to look at A and just like see how bad it is. In yeah, A, K is just math. Okay, I, I sent the spreadsheet. Okay. Okay. I think I can do K. K looks not that bad. But we can use the columns. We don't need... Um, oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I'm actually typing up letters. Alright. Okay. I'll go for K. You're going for K? I'll look at N. Alright, so these are what you're paired up in the plan. We'll share the cost. Um. What? Oh, it's not a tree. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Wait a second. Is this just what is this? A seems hard, I don't even understand it. Let me look at B. <laughs> yeah, this isn't written very clearly. What is in shortage of the most important resource? Toilet paper. So it's contemporary. <laughs> Some best prepared nations for this crisis, bubble land. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, I see how to do B. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, okay, so basically what's going on here is I think you're given a graph and each edge has a weight. And you're going to pick some of these edges and the cost it takes to create them is the cost of their weight, essentially. For example, here. And then you can build all edges at the same time. And you want, I think you want to make the graph connected. Oh, there's case work in this. So if there's some weight that you fix that you can use all edges less than that weight, then you can easily check if the graph is connected by just only ch only looking at those edges. And therefore, we can do a binary search on the answer. And then to check if a value works, we just take all edges that are less than or equal to the answer we have, and we check if we can make the graph connected. By the way, I might mute occasionally. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fine.
Although I did say we can look at we can use more than one computer at once. Yeah. Oh, we're allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> if we couldn't, that'd be dumb. Yeah, because normally, I mean. I'm, be able to, like, I'm not sure which one you guys looked at, but have you guys noticed that if the, if like this one doesn't say that it's guaranteed that the test cases have guaranteed solutions, and there's definitely test cases that aren't guaranteed solutions, so I'm just gonna assume that they're all they mm -hmm. they only give me valid test cases. Yeah, of course. Probably. Yeah. I don't think they would give invalid test. If cases. it doesn't, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty reputable contest. Like they put it yeah. on Copor's main page because they didn't. I would expect them to say, like, print negative one if it's impossible, but whatever. Yeah, but they don't. Our goal should get mbit. We should get mbit on the Code Forces main page. Yes. Oh, we, we might go, did you? Probably could. Oh, yeah. Every, everyone watching this, come to mbit. <laughs> yeah. Join mbit, guys. I might. Actually, no. Never mind. I don't edit my videos. It's too much work. <laughs> Necessary plug. possible so we go lower. Oh I misunderstood the problem. Dang I'm misreading this early. Rip. <laughs> this, this is not a good sign. So then print. Um what is it? so if it's possible then is this the first time I've done no it's definitely not. So we're here. If this is possible then So this is L, this is R, M is going to be here. So if it's possible, then we'll do here, and that's right. And if it's not possible, then we'll be here. And okay. So we print L. Maybe I misread too. Who knows? We can only take edges that have values less than down. And, and I should check visited this x plus one. If and not visited um, first. Perked. Whoa, no compilation error, that's a good sign. Oh, from all their friends, oh. Oh, what's that? Maybe I won't code with a template. Let me try coding without a template today. What the hell is going on? Okay, I also misread. Tim, don't feel bad. Dude, all three of us already misread. <laughs> I, I, I haven't misread yet, but I might. I might have. <laughs> Who knows? I... I don't understand. Oh, wait. Uh, sign of max I put this here. here. Yeah, okay. Max now it should work. Max equals to one it's just e. totally random coincidence that it's 5 times 10 to the 8th plus 4, and 4 is the answer. <laughs> yeah. That's... Let's see. Max. Wait, what's happening? Yeah, uh, I mess up. Okay, I actually did miss three. Oh no, this is going wonderfully. All right, dot pi i. Oh, wait, oh, that's weird. 
Oh, so it's like a bipartite graph where... Oh yeah, I definitely misread, although it's not that bad. So this is like an edge where it's like one node on this side and the other on this side, and then this is this, and then this is this, and then this is two and one. Hmm. A road can't be built. Okay. So I'll just take care. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So it's not exactly a graph. Hmm. I guess it's even easier, actually. Two, one. Can't. What are the ones that people have solved? Oh, people have solved B and K. Yeah, K does not seem. I know. I th I, I'm just checking my solution for K to make sure it's right. Okay. And B is the other easiest. Great. This isn't flows. I don't want to do flows. That's... Yeah, I'm, I'm moving on. This one seems like more of thought. Yeah, a lot of these are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, only, only 13 solves on any problem? Yeah. Okay, I'll look at M. I, I did misread B. It's a bit harder than I expected, but how hard is it? Does it require like maximum matching or something stupid? And guys, go go, go to the spreadsheet and just like under the letter, just like mark that you've looked at it. Yeah. Okay. After I solve this. Okay. Well, which one is that? I'll mark. I'll, I'll mark it for you. Okay, Tim. Tim solving. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not solved it, but I'm ready. Tim enough. doing. Tim thinking. Yes. Interactive. That's fun. Interactive. Probably my favorite type of problem. Paper. Only one air quote. Each paper can only take two. A road can't be built between all airport factory pairs. What does that mean? I'm trying to think of an edge case, so this just doesn't work. So I want to know if the maximum matching is equal to M. So can we just say
can we say that if each node is touched, then we can do it? Because if each node isn't touched, obviously we can't. But if each node is touched, can we? Huh. But I just don't see a situation in which we can't. Is that it? Okay. Let's try that. The more edges we have, the better. It's weird. And maybe something weird like this. Oh, whoops, why why did I set res equal? Okay, now this should be. Now I guess that won't work. I don't still don't understand what this is asking. Are people solving this now? To understand what this is asking. Does it specifically say that you can't have extra edges? Uh, wait, which problem is this? This B. I'm just thinking out loud. <laughs> Look at the status. That's fast. I'm just gonna do flows and like hope it works. Hello. <laughs> what happened there? Discord and its usual shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, where is this? I'm just gonna do flows and hope it works. This is supposed to be the easiest problem in the contest. Uh, where even is this? Don't worry, I'm also dying on this prompt. Nice. So this Dinic should be fast. May or may not have stolen this from BenQ. Make sure you remember all his macros. Yeah, no, I uh, fitted it to my own template, so... Oh, but then I got rid of my own template. Damn. Ooh, nice. How long is this going to take? Red once more. Rip. This is confusing me to no end. Why is my bash program getting it wrong? <laughs> it's not my regular <laughs> program getting it wrong, it's just my bash. <laughs> Wait, what? This is, this is so sad. Okay, let's let, let, okay, go. You press onwards. You know, maybe I'll just proof by AC this. No, I won't. It doesn't matter. Penalties are whatever. Second is less than equal, and then we can add this edge from what proof by AC is the best way. I'll do one. Uh, runtime error, fun. One. Doesn't matter if it's undirected. It's 
but it's... Oh wait, I don't think he gets the right answer. Okay, that's point now. It does. Are there system yeah. tests? No. Huh? No, no system tests? No. Um... Should just be simple enough. Two should just be two. Like, it's the ICPC mode, so if you get it right, it's... Right. What is the problem here? Come on. I didn't even define N. These poems are written very poorly. Slightly. Mm -hmm. These are good. Oh, I don't know how to get these poems, but. <laughs> oh, shoot. Like, 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 they might be good poems, but like it's hard to parse. Yeah. And I. Yeah. Proof by AC time. Come on. Woo, woo, woo. We got this. What do you want? Wrong answer, test case four. Fun. <laughs> Great. Good start. Okay. What is test case four? Oh, it should be um two times two zero. Yeah, I kinda need to like define how this works. Now. Oh shoot. Okay. Well, Let's see if I just erase this. Zero. Okay. I'm very confused. Four. Oh, wait, I forgot to. Yeah. Should fix this. Oh. This should be. Right. Back. I can make this. Wait. Perfect. What? Square root n. Wait. This still is why wrong. you don't use the square root. This is why you don't use the square root function. How is it still wrong? What did I do wrong here? Something Oh wait, this is like weird. This should be M plus Y and this should also be M plus Y. Does it make a difference? I don't think it should, but it might. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it's sad. Guess we have more edges. We shouldn't do that. All right. Well, we get the sample right. Screw it, whatever. Let's just submit. Maybe we'll, get <laughs> Maybe we'll get TLE. I mean, whatever. Don't worry, I already got wrong answer in this case. <laughs> oh, <I'm> sore. <laughs> can't get much worse than this. Oh, we got it. Nice. Yeah. Okay. We got B. Yay, um, we got to follow him. Yeah. We're on the leaderboard. So we're not like total failures. All right, I'm going to mark it in. I'm going to mark the entire column in green highlight. We got to boost our egos when we can. We gotta make make our ACs as big as possible. Where are we right now? <laughs> I, mean, I can't even find us in the standings. Are we there? What is going on? Oh wait, I forgot to check show an official. Hey, Fifty fourth out of like. Am I runtime Mary? Why is it stuck on test case 9? 54 out of, of like, geez, 100. Okay. All right, we got to do better. This is O of N algorithm. How is this taking so long to judge my fail? Time exceeded, huh? 
Huh? Is square root function that bad? Yeah, what's what's next? What's Eesh. next to try? We're already behind. We might as well ride the. Is anyone doing J? Oh, yeah. I'll look at J. I guess. Oh. Why would it be a time limit exceed? Where is this? J. Is, compu is computing 1 million square roots too slow? Uh, maybe. I think it might be. Is that the only bottleneck? Well, wait, can you check my code for K? Sure. Also, like, J is definitely your kind of problem, so there's no way I can do this. Yeah. Wait, is this like, you look at my code for K, I'm pretty sure it's right. But yeah, then sure. why is it time limit? Send it's it. It's just like uh, a simple loop of square root. Send it wherever. Uh, it shouldn't be. Oh, wait, yeah, right. No, I forgot, I can, I forgot we're on code forces. Okay. Um, <laughs> auto get. Get is just the prefix sum, right? Yeah. And then. Okay. What is unless, oh bash is just okay. Unless L is no square root should never be zero. So the Wait, why did you comment out fast IO? Oh my lord! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know why I like this. Yeah, there are a lot of test cases. So that's probably it. Let me just resubmit this real quick. <laughs> why, why? Why is Why am I like this? <laughs> this is why I will fail. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Now we submit this again. Nice. Hey, we got it. <laughs> we got two problems. It's not terrible. My brain is my brain is literally a tiny, small thing. And we're fourteenth right now. I'm gonna have to move on from M. I tried, I tried J. Yeah, J is definitely. I'm like doesn't look that hard, but I'm just nasty. like stumping on it. Okay. Do you want me to try it? Uh yeah, it's a it's an interactive so you might be good at it. Oh, I should not be this sleepy right now. I just took a nap. <laughs> Am I making more sleepy? <laughs> nah, I should be wide awake. All right. <laughs> As you all know. Okay. Oh, come on. N by M matrix for the heights of all. Given what? The matrix of dimensions N by M. How many polynomials? What the heck? Yeah, have fun with that. It's okay. the next most solved. So I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, it's probably, some, some, it's probably some really well-known math trick, right? Yeah. So let me try this. Um, You're good at math. Yeah, this is, again, the well, locally pre tree. The smallest type. Okay, I need my mod int. We're allowed to use templates, I'm assuming? Well, I've yes. Already, we've, well, we've already long broken that. Didn't you yeah. use, like, Dinic? Yeah, I copied in my, like, Dinic. <laughs> Only coconut with less than seven. This 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 has a one gigabyte memory limit. Do all of them do? Oh my! Oh, just oh, do all of them have it? No, only L and M. Huh. <laughs> Weird. Okay. How many polynomials? I'm tricky. Uh, they made a typo. Nice. <laughs> So we have to find the point period we want to write. Okay. COVID is in the What can we query? Hmm. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Sure. Smallest, mm. the leftmost tree with the smallest height. Oh. Mm. Oh, that is very weird. Yeah, this is kind of wonk, wonko donko. So it works for all sub matrices. So it's this reminds me of binary. How do I use binary? 
Uh, this time I must remember not to comment on fast I <laughs> Yeah, good idea. Zero through seven at P of two equals to M. Well, that should be pretty not true. The square root. Okay, four is not O of log, so that doesn't that means we can't do anything with that. Hmm. Interesting. Wasn't this a... This reminds me... Hmm. Are we allowed to use the internet? Yes, um, I think so. This reminds um, me of a CMI, CMIMC prom from last year. Just I actually don't know the rules. They say ACM ICPC rules, which is like. Oh, maybe I shouldn't use the internet. <laughs> okay. Let me look. Let me use the internet to see if we can use the internet. Uh. So can't use the internet, but we can have a feed. Okay, screw that. We're using templates. Whatever. <laughs> But yeah, I'm not sure if we can look things up. Okay, yeah, I won't look things up. Oh. Sad, because it means they can stick some standard problem on it if nobody can remember the code. Okay, can we can we look up documentation like bit sets? Yeah, I think so. That yeah, seems there's no, fair there's enough. There's no reason why we can't do that. Um, let's see. Then, Such a weird number. Four times n plus n. Now I just have to remember the solution to that problem. Oh no. Okay, I think I can do L. You can? Nice. Nice. Now oh, F has a solve too. Interesting. We've dropped to 30th. Jeez. <laughs> this is that massive penalty. Oh, uh, sorry, guys. It's fine. Yeah. It's, not, it's not about place. Just doing it for fun. About the number of problems they solve, yes. Well, Tourist is in 15th right now. But he's also doing it alone. So I don't know. Oh, <laughs> This man is just too good for us. Yeah, you know what? Like right now, we have the same solves as tourists. I mean, I think half the, everyone has the same solves as tourists, basically, except for the people who solved the other one. Yeah. So what's next? Wait, are we at the bottom of people with like the two problems? I think we are. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice. <laughs> They call me the man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, pretty much it is. Okay, so. Hmm. Next sub matrix is going to be there. Oh, wait. Um, okay, maybe I can do this then. Okay. 
Maybe this isn't math. Yeah, okay, so five times ten to the fifth times sixty to the cubed. Oh my goodness, that's way too big. Sixty? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I have to do this linearly. Oh, oh goodness. That's no way not. Wow. This is just really weird. What does this look like? So here the minimum is here, and then it's like that throughout. Oh, it's just, okay, that's a useless sample then. Bin length I need a const constant max D for L L. One and I am in I is one. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Let's see if we figure it out for something um, here. Like, reverse. We have this grid. And, um, it's two to the sixty. That's bigger than two to the, the eighteen. Billion square. Yeah. Okay. That should this should work. Huh? Nice. So this this like a rectangle. I'm gonna move that over. <coughs> Start off with this like rectangle, where we know the minimum is all here. So we find out this minimum to be here. Then. Then one. And, okay. and now we know that this rectangle is in fact here for the rest of these. And so we find this to be here. We know that this rectangle is here. So that's just not going to work. I don't know what I'm saying. This is gonna work. We know that this is monotonic. Like as we go down this way, it's either gonna like shift or stay the same. So we just need to find a smart way to like figure these out. Hmm. Something that's useful. If we know the first position of the minimum is inside this range, then the minimum itself must be inside this range. So we only have to check this. Hmm. Wait a second. Hold up. So I'm gonna do something smart. If it was log, this would be trivial because we can like slice it down the middle. That'd be easy from there. Hmm. 
<laughs> this is interesante, but very difficult. Okay, maybe this will run in run to, run to time we exceed. But maybe it won't if I add enough pragmas at the top. That's it's smart. Not. That's just how you get things accepted. <laughs> this is the only way I know how to get things accepted. Okay, I made much work. Wait, well, you got K, right? Let me update the spreadsheet. Yeah. And you're on J right now? Yes. Okay. All right, Tim, trying to pragma. <laughs> Like what's going on here, man? P I C R M. Is there anything to be done here? Supply the mass of bearings and log in. Okay, maybe, oh, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Let's try this another tactic. So the key part is n plus m.
Okay. Yeah, I've been staring at this for too long. This is hard. What else has been solved? So J. Look at F. What is F? How hard is F? What is U in bold? If it's bad, then it's obviously not good. If it's good, then it's obviously not bad. So it's just one or the other. They capitalize you. So if the sum here is greater than n, then pigeonhole principle is no answer. There's no way to do it. Otherwise, say the sum is equal to n, or like less than. Seen this type of thing before. Or say you have like a zero seven zero and then like x and then x and more. So if you split this up, you're gonna have three one three. And if you try and split these up again, they're gonna like end up back. So 
when you get like one and three one. So then this is like one two one two no one two one two one. And then eventually you'll get two So what's the final state of this then? So this will be zero. So the question is, what if the sum isn't n? If the sum is greater than n, it's impossible. If the sum is less than n. This is my last one again, like 6 I have 303 eventually, and I have um, Can assume these gets bad, so I have
don't think it actually matters how you do the splitting. System number has like something greater than one, you're eventually going to have to split it. So you kind of do them in whatever order you want. So both of these are going to do this once, and then this is just going to like go back out to them. Basically, in a single move, we can decrease the yeast by one, increase the remainder by that. In a single move, we can do this. here both of these pump into this but then we just pump them back out okay now this will pump into this which will pump into this and this will pump into this which will pump into this and then this will pump back That's kind of how this works. To a state where it's like, say, like, oh, one, oh, one, two. I would say there are more ones here. Then this will end up being like two. Eventually it's going to reach a zero. Eventually it's going to reach the zero. Once you do reach the zero, then you're like done. The decision trees like this, so some is greater than n. No. 
sun is less than n. Yes. Otherwise, the sun is equal to n. Then we have a problem. So we have a situation like this. We have O, let's say, one, two, one, O. This will become, um, that'll become 2020, interesting. And we'll get the same situation. going on that side. Then either we expand one of these and we end up in the same situation, or we expand neither of them. And, I mean, yeah, then we just can't do anything. About odd. So, 20210. Then we have to get rid of both of these, so we'll do Expand this and we get one oh two oh two and then we're symmetric with this so it doesn't work. So I think any situation where we end up with like any amount of zeros and ones where we have like a zero. We have a zero and a two, then we're screwed. Can we say this propagates like two one 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 oh one 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 oh? If we have this, so we have oh two. We get two oh two oh two. We get two. Should we hit the end? And does this end? We get two o two. Finally, at the end of all this, we get that. And then once it settles down, it will like kind of just like moves along, like so. And these eventually will bring the ones back to the ends, and then, um, yeah.
of so long as groups of ones. Whatever may happen to them. This spreads out to this and this spreads out to that. Okay, that's interesting. So then at the same time, let's say we have something like this. Or we have an imbalance here. Then we get one, two, two, nope. Two O oh, two. Then we get one O oh, two. Interesting. So it's in the middle. It's not in the middle, it's the... Weird. Is this right? So this goes here, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. This will be here, this will also be here. Also something here. And that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. That's a weird outcome. If we have something better, like oh one. Just O one two one one. Oh, we might even so O two O two one O one two two O one one O two O one. So it's the opposite. So after all this happens, this decreases by one, and the like the opposite on the segment decreases by one. It's so weird. So we have something like O two one O, right? And here we get one O. Yeah, it's the same thing. So when we release something, we kind of let it propagate. Of course, these don't have to be ones. These can be any values that are greater than one. Kind of let this propagate, then that decreases by one, and the rest of it decreases by one. And the ones on the end increase by one. That is weird. Does that help us prove anything? Okay, so if the sum is greater than n, it's still obviously impossible. If the sum is less than n, now if we have this be here, this is going to propagate out to here, this is going to propagate out to here. We have any number greater than or equal to 2. And by pigeonhole principle, there are at most n minus 2 zeros. n minus 2. Now what? At most n minus 1 because the sum is not n. Numbers greater than 0. And what that means is 
No, sorry, it should be like it's not a minus one, it's a minus three numbers greater than zero. In total, which means there are at least two of zeros. Which means that at any point kind of do this propagation. Yes, so that proves that if the sum is less than n, we have yes. Because there are always at least two zeros. So the issue is what about if the sum equals n? That's the hard part. What happens then? In that case, we continue doing operations like normal. Except, so every operation will get rid of two zeros and create at most one zero. I don't see if that helps. Yeah, this whole time I didn't even realize the Discord just like broke. Damn it. I just realized this whole time Discord was broken. I thought like RTC disconnected is only supposed to happen for headphones. I don't even have headphones. <laughs> well, Discord is full of bugs. Yeah. What's happened right now? Good question. Nothing, Nothing really. Yet. I've just been thinking, banging my head against this problem for the past. Nice. Like, I, I know what. Okay, no, I know how to solve this problem now, but I don't know how to solve this problem because it's I'm getting edge cases wrong. My bash program works, so I can bash this at O of n m cubed when n m is ten to the eighteen. <laughs> that sounds so stupid. <laughs> Whatever. Parents just sent me a secret message by slipping a note under the door. <laughs> this is tragic. Yeah, I've been slowly grinding at F. Oh, wait, you're doing F? Oh, yeah. I should have oh. said that. But how oh, far sorry. are you? Okay, so I, I think... Okay, of course, if the total coin is greater than N, then it's impossible, right? Yeah, and if it's less than and N, then, it's not... It's, it's less it's always possible. Yes, I have proven that, in fact, by like a nice. very weird example like method. Yeah. And then if it's equal to n, it, it feels like it's almost always impossible, except for. I'm, I'm trying to characterize what, when it works. So, like, if you have. Say you reduce it to the case where you have a bunch of ones, a single zero, and a single two. Yeah, then it's impossible. Yeah. And then if it doesn't ever reduce to that case, then it's possible. It's like I have these weird. Yeah. We might as well work on this together. These are hard. Yeah. 
so I have this weird annotation um, where it's like this is basically what happens. So let me um, screenshot this. If you have some interval of values where if you have some interval of values where like at it's like surrounded by two zeros and you decrease it. So if you have exactly one zero, you're screwed, which means at any point you're going to have at least two zeros or no zeros, yeah. in which case you already win. Um, so you have at least two zeros, and therefore there's going to be some interval where you have something greater than one and you have two zeros on the ends of it. So when you yeah. decrease from that interval and you like let all the stuff propagate out, like my examples have shown that it like, so it fills in the two zeros. And then everything uh -huh. else is unchanged except the point that you decrease from decreases by one. And on the opposite side of the interval, like the corresponding point on the opposite also decreases by one. So like you see, um, it's what I'm pointing to in the diagram. So I don't, I don't know if this is true, but I've uh, tried it for both odd and even examples. So I don't know. It could be something useful. Oh wait, dude, this is wait, hold up. Did I get okay. it? Let me I got, okay, my batch program needs to check about five hundred more cases before nice. it, I know how to solve this. Oh and Gabe, it doesn't <laughs> matter that these are like they like they can be more than one. We can kind of just assume they're at least one. I'll just yeah. check wait, wait, wait. So, Colin, you're referring to like the reflection if you reflect the interval on yeah. itself. Then it's the opposite like, and that also decreases. So, so if, if, it, decrease, if it if it happens to be in the middle, then it'll just go to zero. It'll decrease by two. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh -huh. what the heck just happened? Wait, what? how did my program run 1,000 cubed in half a second? <laughs> Damn. I actually, I was just testing on a big case. I'm like, let me just test on this big case. And then I enter 1,000, I forget my program's n cubed. I'm like, oh no, let me cancel. But just finishes running. I'm like, <laughs> it must be them pragmas. Oh, I have, I have, I have 04 and SS, 03, not 04. <laughs> 04 is really good. All right, submitting. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, luck. good luck, Tim. Long answer test case. Compilation error. Oh my How god. Does that work? <laughs> did you submit the bash? Or okay, oh, I, I, like I, I just deleted something. I, I was my previous was like DP, right? I deleted a constant variable at the top. But I never deleted the array I created for my DP. So I just I just bashed it wrong. Nice. Oh yeah. Got it. <sighs> nice. That was a cool nice. That was, wait, I knew that trick. That was a math competition trick, and I forgot it for so long. My brain just farted for like half an hour. Nice. Straight. Now we are. Oh dear, we're still. Oh, we're 28. That's not bad. What? What? Okay. What problem should I go now? Not L. Not or L. Not F. I mean, not F. Not F. Not Anything F. but F, pretty much. You can. I'll look at the solve counts and see what isn't terrible. Maybe H, H looks like virus. Looks like it has 11 solves. Yeah, so that's the next easiest, I guess. Dude, that was a cool combo problem. I liked it. Mm -hmm. Of course, yeah. So, so Gabe, the reason that proves that um, it works for m minus or like sum is less than n is because you're always going to have at least two zeros until you get to the point where you either have one or no zero, and in either of those cases, you win. Hmm. Yeah. And every operation you do will at least will decrease the zeros by at least one because otherwise you couldn't have done the operation in the first place. Hmm. Wait, so you're saying if there's ever two zeros then you No 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 I mean if the sum is less than n, then there's always at least two zeros. Until you get to the oh. point where you have one or no zeros and oh, then I you think win. So that's proof. Yeah. Okay, did you say M was hard? M? What yeah, M was hard. Both Gabe and I tried it, I think, and we didn't get anywhere. Or maybe Wait, you didn't I'm get looking somewhere. at the leaderboard. Wait, there. Are... This isn't. Okay, okay. It's, there's, a, there are, there's just a weird solid distribution. I guess if you see it, you get it. If you don't see it, you don't. Because, like. This yeah. is kind of weird. Yeah. Wait, there are two candidate masters who've gotten it. And then there's two LGMs. <laughs> I don't know. There's like Grandmaster. And then no one in between. What the heck? Jeez. That's kind of weird. Yeah, we're still I'm gonna write a bash to try, to, try to find. A, I'm gonna write a bash to just try to find a pattern. Okay, sure. But yeah, it, we only have to be concerned about sum equals n. Wait, right, let me. I'll take a look at m. If I have any initial ideas, I'll do it. But if I don't, I'll just give up. 
Sure. A plum harvesting season. And then we can collectively give up on M because we're getting nowhere. Or you get it. Either way. No, I don't think I'll get it. If you guys didn't get it, there's no way I'm getting it. You this. might. I don't know. Maybe, maybe oh, it's man. more combo, just like in disguise. Let the L-I be the leftmost tree with the smallest height. What does that mean? Actually, never mind. I'm not going to write a bash. Get the bash. I don't even know how to write a bash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very weird bash to write. Property. So if we... The problem is that like the values are big. If the values were small, we could simulate it. Yeah, so there must be like a a, a mathematical characteristic. Yeah. Hmm. I I I made this observation, but if you start it, if you start with all n in one location and you just like do it out, then if n is odd, wait no no no, if n if n is odd. Yeah, if n is odd, it then it works. works. If n is even, then Wait, it if n is, shouldn't. If n is even, then it doesn't work. But it, it will work if n is even if you do n minus 1 in one spot, and you do 1 on the very diametrically opposite side. Yeah, because that's equivalent to having odd n. That's equivalent to well, odd n. Oh wait, yeah, that's smart. That's smart. Sorry. Wait, what on earth is this condition in Milton's plus? Yeah, yeah I don't really get weird. I, I think L is referring to like the location, right? It's not that. Yeah, it's the location. I understand the problem, but like, what the heck? This is a weird condition I've never seen before. Like, it has to use sub matrices somehow. Wait, yeah, no, every sub matrix seems like a very, very, very strong condition. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. It literally seems like it has to be an increasing matrix. I mean, like, if you know what I mean by increasing matrix or something like that. Yeah. But okay. Well, no. somehow I, I strongly think this is a weird problem. So what does L what L I is the leftmost tree with the smallest height? So that means let me look at their matrix. Leftmost tree. Wait, what? I don't understand. What is the is the first test case just not wrong? I feel like the first test case is just wrong. Let me hear this. You know. So all intervals are like self-contained. In a sense, no, it only works for odd. Never mind, that's not. <laughs> but um, if we do something, oh, that's wacko! I need to just constantly check Discord to make sure it hasn't like suddenly crashed. Don't I? That's sad. The smallest. Oh. Oh, I see. You know, that doesn't. It's just a really weird test case they gave us. In the first case. Wait, so any induced set of columns. Wait, so then. Wait, I feel like this is then. This is a very weird problem, right? Problem. It is a weird problem, yes. So you never, you never want to take a subset of rows. You just always want to take a set, subset of columns. If you're like, well, like when you're examining this problem, not like for query any, just examining, because there's no reason not to look at all the rows. So you just want to look at, so let's just see what happens when we take a pair of columns. In. Then it has to be an increasing sequence. But then that implies that the smallest number is always on the left. So then. I think you can do this by some sort of transitive property argument. But I am not certain. Hmm. By the way, typing. Uh, how loud is my typing on this? I can't even tell. Can you hear me? I can't, I, can't, I can't really hear it. Yeah, I haven't heard yeah, I can only hear Colin typing for some reason. Yeah. I can mute myself when I'm typing if you want. No, no, no. no. It's just it's satisfying to listen to. Sure.
So, Colin, I have a feeling if you just generate random test test data, like, it's most of the time it's going to be the answer is no. Like, I'm just trying random things, and it's almost always no. So, do you agree with me that if we simulate it, we can figure out the answer? Like, based on the property that I found, if we simulate it efficiently, it will just work, because it doesn't matter what order you do the operations in, right? Because eventually, no. if something's bigger than two, you're going to have to do it anyway. Yeah, it's community. So in that case, if we can simulate it right, then we can find out if we end up with like an impossible zero or something. Yeah. Um, but how do we simulate it? Yeah. Well... I'm thinking of a very, very annoying idea. So like, if we have some big number that we just want to get rid of and we want to, like, distribute it out to smaller ones... You just collapse it? No, like, think of the interval it's in. Because we expand um, the zeros to, like, both sides, that interval doesn't change by much. I mean, the... The two, the two things you subtract from aren't going to change until you hit some other non-zero element. And there are only O of N of them, or O of M of them. Or K. But, like, that's just terrible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that's, like, some, like, implicit circular segment tree. And I think that's just terrible. It just is terrible. We have one <laughs> second. Okay, it can't be that. All right, half our time is up. Yeah. Then maybe we should have done div two. This is hard. Yeah, oh yeah, but it's hard for everyone. Like we're yeah. in pretty good spot, only having that many, like three. Having problems. a drastically terrible penalty. <laughs> yeah. So we got, if we took up 20, we'd go up uh, only like seven places. Okay, it's right. definitely not circular implicit segment true with lazy propagation. Let's just throw that out. Hey, we're being tourists. That's our, that's our one claim. To really? <laughs> I think it's just because we accidentally, we're a team of three versus a team of one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just penalty. Did he try? Oh, he tried. He tried. He tried J a lot. He tried E. What was J? Oh wait, it was that problem. Wait, wait, I bet these, I bet these people, these people who are getting time limit C's are getting these. Let me let me check. Let me see. Are these guys getting wrong answers? No, they're all squeezing past DPs, aren't they? No, that's not the way to go. No, <laughs> there's actually a very it's a, there's a very nice math solution to it. But everyone's squeezing past DPs. So. What? Wait, Colin, have you found that if there's like. Is it ever possible to win if if you end up with all zeros, ones, and twos? I don't think so. All zeros, ones, and twos. Well, if you have multiple zeros, maybe. Okay, but but if it adds up to n, and you have and the number of zeros is equal to the number of twos. Yeah. Because I, I found that it's like impo pretty much, I, I can't find a case where you actually win in that situation. Hmm. Might not be possible. Oh, it's not. I can, I, I can prove it. You can? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I can. Wait, let me think. So in what case would you not finish in that state? Oh yeah, I can I can prove it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I proved it. So then, so if you have any position where you have only zeros, ones, and twos, it's impossible. Yeah. Okay. Um, so also, 
so and any odd number can collapse itself into just all ones, right? Centered at where it starts. Yeah, as long as it doesn't like hit some other group. And the even number will collapse itself into the same thing, but a two in the middle. So. Mm-hmm. Or a zero in we, the middle. Yeah, yeah, two in the middle. I guess. So if if we just collapse all of the numbers, then. Is the condition that no number can be even? Wait, I completely how the, forgot how this works. Wait, how, how, how does this work? Wait. No, is this, is no. It, it can't be it, that simple because sometimes it's not the center of its own interval. Wait, hold up. Is L just linear algebra or am I dumb? Oh. It, 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 it sounds like something. Maybe it's not linear algebra. Wait, uh, actually, Colin, try to find a case where you can do it where there's an even number. Huh. Yeah, you, you did, remember? Where you have a one in the opposite. Oh, wait, did I do that? Wait, no, never mind. No, that's even N. Wait, one second. Maybe it's just... I'm pretty sure you literally can't do it. I think they have to be odd, man. Two, oh, oh, one, or zero. Um, two. And these kind of just, like, flatten out. So by the property, wait, 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 wait. Um, okay, I'm gonna do it rigorously. Zero, one, zero, one, three. Zero, one, zero, two, one, wait. One. That's impossible. Hmm. Okay, why is that true? I'm not sure. Okay, um, but also, it, it, didn't, it didn't help much because it doesn't go the other way. If you, if you have all them odd, it's still possible to fail. True. I think. Yeah. Is it? Yes, it is. One. Oh. Bubble cup, bubble cup, bubble cup, blue cup. Okay. Um. Two, one, oh, two, maybe I shouldn't. Two. Yeah. I've given up on M. I have no idea what condition that condition means. Yeah. I, I can't figure it out. What, what is, is the next one? Called? Two. Oh, a lot of people solved H. Is H that easy? I haven't looked at it. I don't yet. know. I haven't looked at it myself. Yeah, okay. In bubble land. Okay, Colin, call me, call me crazy, but. What if this is the condition? The condition is that all the numbers are odd, and when you collapse all the numbers, you only need to collapse each one once. Like, none of their o th things overlap. Because that's the only cases I've been able to find. How do you... Um, how does that work for even numbers? Maybe... So, so like, if, if n is 6... Oh, wait, 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 we just show we can't do it with even. Right. Yeah. Or, wait, did we, we, didn't, we didn't show it. We're just hypothesizing, right? Didn't you... Wait, what did you prove? I proved that if you can get it to zeros, ones, and twos... Oh, yeah, then, yeah, right. Okay, okay. Then you can do it. But I, I, I have a gut feeling that this is right. I'm not sure. Wait, what, what's the penalty for an incorrect submission? Uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, <laughs> we don't care we about the penalty. Let's just go over We just want problems. We have, we have a... Our penalty's already screwed. I can <laughs> check now. Yeah. Um, it's like 10 minutes, I think, right? That's normal stuff. Um, a virus had an incubation let me period. Calculate that. Of K days, and after that time, people consider it non-infectious. One you problem guys. penalty. Uh, twenty minutes. Wait, Which is why we were so bad before. Huh, twenty minutes. Wait, Marks. Everyone had direct or indirect contact. Uh, I feel like you'd be better at influencing this. You, you, you get what I'm talking about, right? Um. Yeah. How do you? Influence? So because be that, like I dare you to find a case that like doesn't work. It would be that all elements have to be a certain distance apart. Like if you have, if you have like three and then oh, wait, five, yeah. three oh, yeah, is going to expand that, that, one out. Five, yeah. Yeah, I can put that. Okay. Um. 
Yeah, we can try. Why not? The end of each day. Remember, yeah. sum is not equal to n in those cases. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to do everything long, long to be safe. because Their <laughs> queries, they don't explain their queries. Of course they don't. The, the, the sample case, that well, they just said pay attention. Uh, well, okay, what does this mean? Okay, let me try and break that. Yeah. Like 10220, what happens then? And you get one, one, wait, does that, does that just happen? One, one, oh, three. No, Gabe, it's not right. One, oh, two, like, oh, two, two, oh. Wait, oh, two, two, oh. Doesn't that just work? Oh, wait, <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Never mind. Oh, that breaks everything, oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, that also breaks 0, 1, and 2. Wait, I thought I proved it. <laughs> I guess I didn't. How did you prove it? But my proof was that was, like, inductive. Like, if you split a 2... Oh, I guess it didn't consider if the 2s were next to each other. Yeah, that might be a problem. If you split a 2, it would, it would lead to another thing of 0s, 1s, and 2s. Yeah. Okay, darn. Oh, I see. Rip. Rip. 2-5. Oh, oh my goodness. Two O. Oh. So this is one O oh, three O. Oh. Yeah, it just works for everything. Rip. How many times? Five seconds. Oh, that's a beefy time limit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, more sols on H than F at this point. Interesting. I'm taking a look at H, but it's kind of hard. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. <laughs> All right. Day one. Oh. So just Okay, so there's reset everything. Okay. Oh, I see. No, I don't really see how to. This looks like dynamic connectivity, but it doesn't. Cause it... Cause we just need to keep track of the sign. Alright, this is fun. Have you looked at H yet? No, is it easier? This looks or like dynamic it? connectivity. I don't know how to do that. Let's no, see. You don't need to, it looks like it. That's like the idea of it, but like that, that's like the point. It's sort of, but there's probably a smarter way to solve it. Or maybe there's not. And that's why they give us five seconds. Yeah, maybe. But I don't think so. There's no way they would do that. I'll go I don't know if that works. You basically just consider a graph within the last k days of edges added. Oh, no. And then you want to. Query components. So you add edges and you remove edges and you put query component sizes. That's annoying. Yeah. I don't understand how the removal of edges would work. Looks like anything square root is doomed to fail. No, it's not. Maybe it's not. 31 times 5. Is 155 that it might not be doomed to fail completely, but maybe I'm 
Component size is annoying. Dynamic connectivity definitely works. Do you know how to write it? Dynamic connectivity? <laughs> no. I have, uh, no, I don't know how to write it at all. Right. Maybe there's a smarter way or something? I don't know. Okay, uh, what was it? DSU uh, with like rollback? Does that work? I don't remember how to implement that. I don't even know if that works. Um, I don't know what it does. I just know it's yeah, it's just all one form of offline dynamic connectivity. Yeah, I think it lets you save one point and then return to that. Yeah, but I don't think that really helps, right? No. Wait, do you see with rollbacks? Yeah, I forgot how that works entirely. I I, I think I remember how to do it. You go. Yeah, like... but I don't know if it helps at all. Uh. <laughs> like okay. So what? Okay, what do we care about? We care about the number, the last k edges, last k days of edges, right? And then we need to be able to query component size. So how do we? Question is, how do we find if an edge is useless? No, do we need to do that? Hmm. NK virus incubation date. It's 10 Wait, to the fifth. DSU with rollbacks might actually work. All right. Wait, but how do you how do you, how would you query size of components? And how would that rollback even work? Because you have to roll back all the way. No, 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 I think you can go backwards and then you can roll back a single day every time. Wait, no. What that? Wait. No, it's no, it's kind of the same thing. Never mind, never mind. So. You would actually need to go back about it, like, uh, yeah, you would have to add back all the edges somehow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Online minimum spanning trees. <laughs> Jeez. Let's think a bit harder. Component queries is just like weird. Yeah, I never, I never quite learned how to actually do these types of prompts. Oh, small to large. I remember the last time we did something like that. I remember that small to large prompt with like boiler tree. I don't remember. We unroll it backwards, but this time you can remove edges also. Yeah. It's not straight. It's both adding and removing. That's kind of wacko. Colin, I feel like this problem is like well known. Like I definitely heard this before. Tim, you've probably heard of this. Like, Which one? There's a bunch of people s s standing in a row, and if you have more than two coins, you can give two coins to your neighbor, like one to each neighbor. Yeah, it could right. be well No, that's a Google Code Jam problem, I think. That was a, uh, no, that was like on wait, 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 yes, I, wait, well, you want to find the final state, right? Yeah, you want to find if it will resolve to all ones, if it will, is resolvable. You can find the final state. It was a Google Code Jam problem a while back. I know this because, wait, do you guys remember Omkar and Landslide? Yeah, it was kind yeah, of like yeah. That. It was, yeah, no, it was the exact same problem. I reduced Omkar and Landside to this problem, and I was trying to solve this problem. Yeah, I, I remember solve, doing that too. And then I realized, oh wait, there, it's less than, <laughs> strictly less than. But this time, yeah, which problem is this? F. 
Wait, okay, you, wait, you saw so you a can, landslide. What was it? Yeah, I did. It it was some weird thing with mods that I that I discovered. Yeah. It always ends in all ones. Well, what does it mean? What do you mean by ends in all ones? It would always end in all ones, right? Because if you had a two, you would split it. Nope. Zero, one, two. Try it. Zero, one, two. Yeah, you would split the two, right? Yeah, and then we go to two, one, zero, one. And then we go to one, zero, one, one. Oh, do you mean a consecutive row of ones? No, no, no. It's cyclical. Oh, it's, yeah. Sorry. Oh, cyclical. No, then that's different. Rip. This problem looks hard. Um, wait. Try simulating it. <laughs> but like, it, it's if we could simulate it, we would be done. Cause, yeah. But what n equals ten to the ninth? Either we need to simulate efficiently, or just like be smart about it. Wait, no. Uh, simulation should work, right? Wait, no. Actually, no. You, you the game might never end, right? Wait, the game has a potential to never end, so you just want to know when the game will end, right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, that part's fine because we can, like, do some. Well, just like do do that. Just do do like. Uh. Oh wait, no, that doesn't even work. Uh. Just like. Um. Like, if we have a position where we have exactly one zero, exactly one two, and everything else is one, then that's impossible. If the sum is greater than n, it's automatically impossible. If the sum is less than n, it's automatically possible. We've done some sort of like proofs for this. How and then, 32 people called a virus? Okay. Jeez. Maybe yeah. they just like know dynamic connectivity or they copied no, no, it no, in. No one in knows the connectivity off the top of their head. <laughs> they could have just copied it in and like not had any regards for the rules. Or we just, or I just read the rules wrong, one of those two. What is problem G? Is G? Uh, <laughs> G has one solve, and it's by, by Danny. What the hell? Wait, no. What is this? this Wait, this problem. The the team with Danny on is the only team who solved it. Damn. Danny Mittal. Yeah. <laughs> with wrong with Rabal Bomkar Bittal Bang <laughs> and Ken Ken B. Yeah. Is that Ben King? I don't even know. Probably not. Oh, that's Ken Ben. <laughs> yes. I don't think I can solve that problem. I will go back to doing H. So by the same argument that, like, the same, like, weird way we can propagate things, we can also kind of propagate things to, like, we can always do it so something is in the center of an interval, and then we like Good. move a we like move a one on both sides equal distances. Hmm. Hmm. Colin, do you want to try L? 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 I I think I know how to do L, but it's really annoying. It's like Gaussian elimination. I don't know. Wait, no, that's what I thought it was. But then how? How do you find the minimum norm? Is it is it it's the minimum norm of Gaussian elimination? But I know the formula for minimum norm of a normal thing. But I don't know, remember the minimum. It's like does that? I forgot that class. You just want the minimum norm solution. Hmm. But does that extend to? I forget. Does like normal least norm solution extend to Gaussian elimination? I don't know enough about. Okay, it's like projection. No, maybe it does. Maybe minimum norm does extend. And then you use bit sets to optimize this stuff. Yeah. the minimum Would the minimum does the same does the same strategy from like minimum norm is like A times A A T negative one? Why? What? Tim's just going off on linear algebra. <laughs> Wait, like this was my internship. I should know this. <laughs> oh wow! No, not 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 my entire internship. This is like a part of my internship. I I, I should know what the, I should at least know what the least norm is. This should not be that bad. Let me think a bit more. Okay. 
Mm. I think okay, I think this is the correct formula for Lee Storm. Oh wait, there are a lot of days. Oh wow. Wait, no, there are a thousand, right? Yeah. Is it? A thousand, yeah. Yeah, no, they're just test cases. <laughs> I don't know why they call them days. They're test cases. Well, they're test cases with the same um the same. Yeah, you can have max and access every time. I think it's a lot of input. Okay, let me figure out well, what is the. Okay, I'm gonna solve the... F. That's my goal for this contest. Solve F. Nice. Yeah, I don't know how okay. to do L. That's mathy. Leave it to yeah, Jimmy. Think, okay, here I'll send the. This is the least norm solution for like normal linear algebra stuff, right? This is like I think it's just like this. I'll send it in the chat. Okay. Is there a way to extend it to what we have here? Wait, I, does it just extend? That's my question. Does this just extend? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what any of that means. So the, the, those are transposes and inverses. Just A is like, you, you know the matrix, it's like AX equals Y, right? You want to find the least norm solution X to this. Sure. Or, so then it's just oh, that. I see. It's, it's deterministic. So you can compute that left matrix in like all of poly, some, not poly, like N square, N cubed divided by 32. <laughs> My think, favorite yeah, I don't think that's going to work, though. Because we have we have a thousand to the fourth divided by thirty two. No, it's no, it's n cubed divided by thirty two. But it's over each day, right? Oh wait, you can do it all at once. Is that what you mean? Uh wait, what was the complexity of matrix multiplication again? Um, it's like is that n like cubed? all three dimensions multiply? Yeah. But if we use bit set, does that just magically make it work? Bit set magic makes it like uh I forget how far how, how fast does bit set make it? It's something over either thirty two or sixty four, and there's some weird blog that we have to like. I don't remember how to make it sixty four, but it's not trivial. And it doesn't help, right? As far as I, it was like by chili or something. Yeah. Hmm. What's this? There's no way it's that. So. Well, maybe it is, right? Hmm. Wait, so we can't even multiply a matrix a thousand times? How are you going to do this? That's like n to the fourth divided by thirty-two. There's. There's no way that's getting passed. Why is T so big? T is so T is D. I mean D is so big. There's no way we can get that passed. Unless. How much input is there? Wait, 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 wait. There's gonna be like some constraint on that. Wait, oh wait, hold up. There's no way, there's no way, because like, wait, no, that's, no, there is no constraint. That's just one million input. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, I thought. That's a million input. That should be definitely fine. But each switch can have at most n things it affects. Wait, really? Wait, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, wait, no, that's kind of obvious, right? <laughs> yeah, like... but like, that means you have, like, Three yeah. times ten to the seventh input. We know that's not right. So like, um, each sw switch thirty is thirty times n cubed. I mean, thirty times n, right? S n, S n for the first input. Yeah. And then the second input is d times n. Wait, why is? Isn't the first input? Oh wait. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Okay. The switches are the same each time. I see. If you can't even oh, multiply no. a matrix, how do you do this? Yeah. I see, I see. Okay. That's great, then. How do you ask that? Mm 
Should we try H? I think H might be doable, since so many people have gotten it, right? It was 32 last time I checked. Probably like 50 now. Yeah, H is... Uh, how do you... I don't know, H is weird. You just got, what? like, some stuff going on. Could just straight up be dynamic connectivity, and then there's nothing we can do there. Um, I, don't, I don't think 36 people would memorize dy dynamic connect or even have a... Like, I found one implementation of dynamic connectivity online when I did this at some point. Hmm. There's a lot of time, though, and also a lot of queries. Yeah, I don't think dynamic connectivity... Would, actually, no, five seconds is a whole lot of time. Okay, wait, wait, I, first I have to figure out what the heck is S equals 30 doing here. Yeah. Wait, no, wait, I actually think. It's like a S small number. 30, that's a very small number, and then we'll... What we also know is that since s equals 30 is so small, wait, it's not n cubed. What am I saying? It's not, of course, it's not n cubed, right? I don't know. n cubed is assuming that dimension is 30. The What is the, okay, so the system of equations looks like a 30 by 1000 and then 1000 vector. And then uh, <laughs> under the assumption that least norm actually works, it's 30 by 1,000 times the transpose of 30 by 1,000, which is 30 by 30, invert that, that's the 30 by 30. Wait, what if that's not invertible? Is no A idea. times A transpose always invertible? I have no idea what you're saying. I that's trust not you. Always invertible. Where's Gabe? He's good at math. <laughs> wait, I, wait. Am, I am still working on this thing. Let's think about H a bit more and see if we can get anything that's not terrible. So it's like, it's specifically a sliding window. Isn't the idea of dynamic connectivity that you like divide and conquer on the like intervals where something is in? <laughs> I don't know. I never learned that. Yeah, it's something weird. There's also some trick I remember on CP algorithms where it's like you can remove an edge or something and log in by... <laughs> Log squared, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Uh, I don't hmm. know. I it might be log squared. That's fine in that case. Oh, yeah, because right. DSU insertion is log in. No, it's it's amortized. I know there's a log squared somewhere in there from Wikipedia. At some amortized point. is a problem. Amortized is a problem, yeah. So... If the number of people in the state is Q, so, okay, n to the fifth people, right? Yes, yes, yes. And then what we want to do is sort of... Um, Timmy, how do you do OPDSU? OPDSU has O of 1 update, right? OPDSU? What is like, that? <laughs> like the one where it's like Ackerman or something. Uh, we're just, uh, I don't remember. How, it's like path compression. Rank and path compression. I don't remember. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it is. Path yeah. It is over one, and then querying is the problem. So that's good, actually. I think. Mm -hmm. I remember Maybe. trying to look at the proof that it was Ackerman. It was like ten pages long, and I didn't get the first sentence. So there's no way I can understand that. Templates are OP. We basically treat this as our 25 pages, you know, whatever. Might be a bit more than 25. We, well, we haven't used any research. We can adjust our 25 as it goes. It's true. All right. Well, the least norm solution for a system. Okay, let me first figure out what least norm solution for a system of equations would look like. We would have to do that a thousand times, but that maybe that's not an issue. Mm. Yeah. Gabe, is that on your end? Huh? I hear other people on your head. Yeah, my brother's like screaming. All right. 
Mm-hmm. Didi, you know you're on YouTube, right? <laughs> <laughs> Didi. <laughs> you can't even hear me, whatever. His singing will be on YouTube forever. We shall. I don't know. I don't even know, Colin, if you want to upload this. It's kind of, kind of depressing. I mean, where are we right now? We can probably solve more stuff. Like, Timmy's a math god. No. <laughs> I'm, 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 I've been staring at the same prompt for like an hour now. Okay, we're in 55th out of 316. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, top, um, it's like one sixth. Wait, but we've solved three problems. <laughs> this is sad. I know. We should, okay, our goal. Was, and this is get, Div 1. We, There's also Div 2 that's happening, so keep that in mind. We will get, we, we will get H, don't worry. We will, we will get H at some point. Yeah, oh, um, yeah. I'm fairly confident that I can get F, but I'm not sure, actually. Okay, like There's in any one. Div 1 contest, top 1, 6 is enough for, like, Grandmaster level. So we're doing pretty good. Well, well, there's teams, so I know, but all these teams are Div One teams, and I guess other people who weren't supposed to register for Div One but did. So I don't know. Maybe it's worse. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, okay. H has to be some. I mean, L has to be some very um, knocked up solution. Okay, I still don't know minimum norm. How do I do minimum norm? Okay, just solve it for one test case. Let's do that first, right? Nice. Um. How do we do that again? I remember you gonna like for H, you know, like build a segment tree on the DSUs or something. Segment tree on DSUs? And then you Whoa. do small to large merging to like get a query or something. It's really weird. This sounds like wizardry to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know what I don't know what I'm talking about either. Small to large DSU. Okay, that's just like that just doesn't work, I don't think. We could you know we could add, we could do like Persistent small to large dynamic connectivity with rollback. That seems yeah. like it has a shape working. Sounds like a plan. If we add we if we add enough terms on it, eventually it'll work. <laughs> Throw in like FFT or something. <laughs> FFT on FFT on DSU. I'm the only way to solve this problem. Wait a second. Hold up. You got something? Uh, um, is it like something that... What do we gotta do? There should be very little test cases. I mean, for... Yeah, for... Isn't there something called like... I just remember, isn't there like FWHT or something? Like fast Walsh hard hardmar transformation that tells us that like is that most n log n number of XORs we can make. So this is actually a very limited, it's not due to the 30th. Maybe. Yeah, this is gonna be in my this is gonna be my <laughs> 25 pages. <laughs> this is gonna, gonna go into my 25 pages. <laughs> Wait. That is like F W H T. Oh jeez. What is F W what does F W H T say again? Yes, I'm on CSA Academy or CS Academy. This is just so weird. Fast had a mard had a mard had a mard. Yes. So what does this say? There are.
Look at the Gracken Forces editorial. I remember I seeing FWHT in the I editorial. Maybe I can learn. I, nice. Um, nope, that doesn't help at all. But there should be very little. Good, I haven't disconnected. All right, at least we can tell if it's one or negative one pretty quickly. That's so if we can tell it's negative one pretty quickly, how do we? Uh, yeah. Let's go back to H. We'll flop between H and L for the remaining 15 minutes, 50 minutes. Yeah, I guess. I'm going to go back to L. I've just been thinking on H and kind of getting nowhere. I mean, or uh, I'll go to F, maybe. Okay, H. I'll kind of I haven't up. made much progress on F. I'm just, I'm just playing around with the bash. Sure. I don't even know how to write bash for this. Seems very weird. Okay, so. Go down the route of efficient simulation. I think I'm on to something. Okay. Sure. Oh, oh my gosh. What the frickity frack. Okay. I, I was just playing around and I got a sense of deja vu from landslides. 
Mm-hmm. And then that reminded me of this characteristic, which is, I'll type it in the chat. Oh, it, it's the, the sum of the, of the, it's the sum of from I from one to N of the product of I times A of I. And you do take that mod N. And then if that's divisible by N, it works. And if it's not divisible by N, it doesn't work. But let me do some more testing to make sure that's... How does that work with circles? Um... Yeah, it, it just works for circle, because that's modular, so, like, you can, like, shift to mod by anything. Oh, proof by AC time, guys. Yeah, why not? No, no, no. This is literally, literally the exact same characteristic as Landslide. Sure. T- Tim, when you said Landslide... Yeah, when landslide, you said... I never got Landslide in the end. Wait, I Landslide, landslide, landslide in the I got Landslide by doing this, by finding this pattern. Nice. Yeah, okay, wait, let's see here. Let's see, 9. 36, 36, 36. Wait, I times AI or I plus AI? Um, no. I t- time, times AI, right? Okay. Um, and, and then actually have it start, for, in, make it, in, make it, um, Wait, let me think, actually. Actually, no, it doesn't matter, yeah. Do, do your... Yeah. Um, okay, I, I, I know the character. Okay. Did it work? Uh, I, mean, I don't have anything right now. <coughs> okay. Um, I'll, su- I'll submit that. So why does it work, though? Like, you could reverse the array and have the exact same situation, but would that sum be the same? It's it's because every operation maintains that characteristic. Oh wait, what? Oh, Is mod an invari- n. You found that? Wait, that's an invariant. Yeah, that's the invariant. Oh, that's a. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it, it's is- the exact same invariant as the landslides one. Or I think other people solve landslides differently, but that's the invariant I found for landslides. Okay, wait, I, I never found that invariant for landslides. Um, I I think this should work. Um, I hope this should work. Should like, how does it work? Like, if you're at three. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I see what you mean, I see what you mean. Yeah, if it's an invariant, it definitely should work then. I see what you well, mean. Well, the invariant yeah. always works, but I can't prove the con the converse of, like, wait, let's see. If well, if it's an invariant, then, it's then if it's not true, then you should be clean. Wait, if the invariant is true, is it always possible? Yeah, yeah, that, that's what we need to prove. But I feel like it's... Or just prove any bad state is not satisfied the invariant, like, or something like that. But I don't know. I don't yeah, know what the is. Any bad state doesn't satisfy the invariant. That's oh, the final final state state of... Proof by AC it, man. We got this. Or a- a- any of the... Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, that's a proof. That's a proof, Colin. Any of the zero... Like, there's one zero, there's one two, and all the rest are ones. That's a bad state, because it's... Right? Because it's not... It's not a multiple of N. Okay. Okay, anyway. Whatever. Are you sure it's a multiple of N? Because our final state is all ones, right? So... Yeah, so for, for odd n, it's a multiple of n. For even n, it's a multiple of n plus one half n. Or it's 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 half n mod n. Whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll write it. Sure. Oh, I see, I see what you mean. Okay, sure, sure. I believe in you. Also, you're a genius. Also, I believe in you. Thanks. <sighs> Could we do some dumb meat in the middle for that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Is there any other problem? Okay, so like... Uh, H has a ton of solves now. What is it? It, it can't. It can't. There's no way it's dynamic. There's no way it's dynamic connectivity. Oh, there's no be. way. Okay, so let's think a bit harder. What do we want? We just all we care about is the size of each component, right? Yeah. So how could we figure out the size of each component? So when we remove an edge, either it like splits two components and two things, or not. No, it doesn't. Really well, dumb. we don't know when it splits into two. If knowing when it splits into two things is kind of dynamic connectivity. Yeah. But maybe some. Okay, there maybe some. Um. So each edge is in a re- interval of relevance for length k, mm-hmm. and then it goes out in. It goes in once and it goes out the other time. So. We sort of just... 
Yeah, I got no ideas. Time to go back to hell. Yeah, go ahead. I guess I'll work this out a bit more. I don't even know. Can I use the? Can I? Can we use that? No, nah, I don't think we can use the deletion only problem because that's like very specific. <laughs> Is it, please tell me L is not me in the middle. I think, is L me in the middle? I don't know, could it be? Could, does that even work? Like, is it possible to do that? Because you have, like, a lot of things. Wait, 2 to the 15th is, like, big. It's not that big, though, right? But if you it's do like, it for each day, it's way too big. No, 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 of course not for each day. You just do it at the beginning. Okay. Whatever matrix magic you're coming up with, maybe. It's not magic, it's just kind of dumb. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, now my brother's really mad that his singing got on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't post this on YouTube. I could, no, edit, fine. I could edit this out if you really want. It's fine. It, 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 it wasn't quiet, right? It wasn't super loud. No, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. <laughs> Let me just finish this problem. And it and is if n run two to zero, and if oh, that's like such a weird thing to think of. You got it. How did you even like come up with this during um? Because uh, I, I was a tester, right? So like, I I was doing it during the testing, and then what was the problem B wasn't <laughs> it? It was a different. It was slightly different, but I, I, yeah, it, it was kind of the same. Sure. Okay. Um. Let me in the. Oh, oh wait, Tim. I, I understand now why they're equivalent because like it's just the differences is the same. Yeah, that's what I I, did, I took the differences yeah. in that problem. Yeah. And I and I got I got a hard hard annoying problem. I had no idea to solve. Else if some. Equals zero, then count one. God, these are like the that's like the type <laughs> of solution that's gonna haunt me in my dreams or something. Okay, pause. Uh, Be sure to check that the. Like the total sum, yeah, not the weird yeah. sum. One. Negative one. Okay, uh, I think this should work. Da, da, da. Wait, I should probably check like another case. Sure. Um, but let's try. Check the like odd island thing. Odd island. So yeah, I'll say n is lot. n is I'll say n is eleven, k is one, and then there's a single eleven island. Yep, it got a one for that. Um, let me just look over my code again. It doesn't seem to work, unfortunately. Does it? I can't think. My brain is not working. Yeah, I'm in the middle of it. Okay, whatever. I'll submit. Yeah, whatever. Proof I see or not. I think it'll work. If it's a variant, it should work. Yeah, I feel like if I wanted to, it would be pretty easy to prove. But let's see. Um, for my first submission, I have to dig through my files to find <laughs> which folder it's in. Nice. Um, contest Bubble Cup. This is F. That's why I do paste submission. What? Nice! Oh my god, nice. Gabe! Okay, Gabe nice. You genius. No, I love you guys think about. Okay, um... Hard carry, hardcore carry. We're now 30th place. That's pretty good. And we're beating Danny's team now. Haha. Uh because -huh. they have Wait, such a big penalty. Who's on, who's on Danny's team? Uh... Danny and, like, I don't know, other people. I don't know the other people. Actually, they, Where does he go? Where does he go to the school? They have a weird penalty. Like, they solve B in, like, six minutes, but it took them... Or no, it was... We've all contributed to this, te this team effort. Now time penalty. to die on L and H. 
for the remainder. Or maybe we can talk about yeah, that's all we got. Right, um, wait, no, I think M we might be able to get. Because, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try M. Oh my goodness, 54 people have sold it. Okay, Colin, you go on H and I'll, I'll stay on L. Yeah, I'm my, my brain. This, is, this, is, this is hard, though. What am I supposed to do with this? Why is me in the middle not working? Oh, well, because it's me in the middle. What am I doing? <laughs> um, so this is like... Just me in the triple? It's not the intended solution and that it's something like not totally out of nowhere. I hope it's not me in the triple. <laughs> Is that even possible? <laughs> I don't know what is. Me in the quadruple. Me so make the... square root no. S groups and then merge them together. Me in the triple, me in the double, me in the quintuple. Wait, no, Danny's beating us by a lot. There? Oh, no. Wait, what? Oh, wait, did I not reload? Let's see. Oh, they just got another problem. They, like, just really? got another one. Like, in between the time that I said we were beating him and the time you checked. Oh, uh, yeah. Karma, man. It's all about karma. Which problem did they get? L. All right, then we gotta be... We got, we, there's no other choice. We yeah, have we... to get L now. <laughs> we will not be by... We, will, we cannot be beat by Sugimoto on, like, five different levels. They still, own, they still have a unique solve on G somehow. Is G? Oh, oh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to solve G if no one else has solved it. Yeah. N, S, D, Sin, N, S, D. I'm just going to, you know, just maybe typing input will give me some. Look at G for a second. Constant max is equal to 1000. Right? Yeah. Set. This value is. Uh, vector bit set. Max, um, S. Yeah, sure, right. Why not? No, wait, that doesn't work. Use, okay, for int i equals zero. S i plus use. Use the, we're just going to do this. Use. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I feel like it's. Why else would they do this? Um, use. Their end days. S days. Next S line. Use I. J. One. X. The X in X. Use I X equal to one, right? Yeah. While B minus minus bit set max query Q mark and I guess there's a way to implement G, but it's like not a great implementation. Are you about G? I mean I don't know if I have it, like it's a terrible implementation, I don't even know if it actually works. Hey, you never know if it'll fail until you fail. Yeah. Right, so. Let's just see, why not? Maybe all the LGMs just looked at this and decided it wasn't worth it. That I came into this thinking that we would full solve. <laughs> what? I came into this thinking it would be like easy, like be classic, and that we'd full solve. Oh. Wait, this is Bumble yeah. did one. What on earth? They prepared this for LGM, so. <laughs> and they haven't even like. LG, like the highest team right now has 8 out of 14. Slightly insane. And it's a team of all LGMs. I came into this thinking we would maybe get three questions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is, this is kind of what I expected, actually. Like, like my, like my typical div one, I would, I would expect us to get two questions with three mm -hmm. questions. 
Oh, someone solved L and M, and then they still have four problems because they didn't do B for some reason. They just got L M J L J K M. Hold yeah. Up, hold yeah. Heck up. Okay. Weird. Um. Okay. So what do I want to? Okay. I am relying on my my very non-existent knowledge of fast Walsh Hadmar transformation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to guess that meat in the middle works. <laughs> this is a very sus, but we shall proceed. If it, if it if it's not true, then oh well. We have unfortunately screwed up. How, how long is the time for this? Uh, it's three seconds. Okay. Oh, it's okay. not bad. Right. Okay, so I can solve this then. Uh, well, no, that didn't work. <laughs> I can solve this. Okay, how does meet in the middle work again? So you do two halves and like combine them smartly. Yeah, that didn't quite work. So let's figure this out. Two to the fifteenth is like a lot, or however you're doing it. Wait, what is yeah? What is two to the fifteen? That's like one ten to the fifth. Thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's not gonna work in time. Does thirty thousand times? That's tight. That's very tight. Uh. There's just got to be something here. Let's say k is small, and we can just kind of build the DSU every time. Maybe the time limit's five seconds because there's a square root involved or something. And square root and log n. Yeah. <laughs> so if k is small, we can just like straight up build the DSU Wait. each time because each edge is included in root k. I have a solution in 2 to the 15 times 1,000 <laughs> times log. Due to the 15. That's tight. I mean, you could try it though, because there's nothing better to do. Okay. Okay, and if k is big, then what? Big k is the problem, I guess. What if we just like square root decomposition the whole thing? 
Wait, let's build square root and DSUs, and then this <laughs> that um that is weird. Square root and DSUs. That's the first time I've heard that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have a lot of memory. That's the problem. <laughs> it's so stupid. Mm. <laughs> K is less than root n, we're done. Otherwise, k is greater than or equal to root n, I guess. Um, you know what? We're, we're, we're going to try this for int i equals 0. Uh, we have root n dc. That's the problem. Uh, Right shift 15,000. So Maybe this is where DSC with rollback comes in. For int i equals 0, i less than. Huh. Wait. For int mask equals 0, mask less than 1 shift top mask plus plus. And then for int j equals 0, j less than top j plus plus. It's at res, it's at max res, uh, res xor equals to use j res dot, how do you, Number of bits in bit set. Does it just not count? Yeah, it's just not count, isn't it? Uh, bit set count. Yeah, it should be the number of ones. Okay, right, so dot count. E P count as a mask. function. Mask. Okay, and then what do I do now? <laughs> what, do I, what do I do now? Okay. Oh, okay. This time I'll make my infinity will be a hundred. That's big enough. I just have the feeling that we're gonna need a lot of DSUs here. Yeah. Okay. So now. Ton of DSUs. N is small, and the memory limit is a. No, it's not a big memory. Damn. But um, there is a memory limit. It exists. Indeed, it does. Int bot equal to n minus top. Wow. And you have a big memory time. too in L. EP2, one <laughs> bot. <laughs> that alone is scary. Two DPs. DB infinity for in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And Mask equals zero. Mask less than one shift. One shift bot. Mask plus plus. Or int j with zero j less than bot j plus plus. If j if mask. Res or use J ors x ors ors equals to and mask um res x or equals to use J I still I forgot wait why did I do that I could have just copied and pasted my I just typed the exact same thing twice okay nice. dp2 mask equals min dp2 mask res dot count. There's, there's no way this is working in time, is there? Well, we have uh, uh, j, oh no, j plus top, right?
Oh my goodness, okay. Int if ands equals int if ands equals int count negative one else out and the queries are ordered. It's How much time like... do I have? Twenty three minutes. Oh that's right. terrible. Oh no. In the same day, you can have different answers. Oh no. For a mask, zero mask, and bot mask plus plus. No, mask less than this one shift bot. Sorry, it's, it's just necessary to do this. And then in big K, somehow you like keep stuff. You keep stuff. If any so Mm. We have rollback, this would be easy with the account. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be easy, but it would be doable. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do is I sort of want to compare. So bash, 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 and hash, hash, crash. Okay, so a map of bit sets, good. Map bit set. Right. Max. Uh, okay, so map bit set. Max int best. I'm still stumped on, um, I made some observations, but not helpful. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to keep bashing. Oh. Yeah, I'm dying on H. This is definitely going to memory limit and see our time limit exceed or all of the both. Which one, which one happens first? I don't know which one happens. Both of them could happen first. I mean, you have the factor of the bit set, right? Does that help at all? Uh, or does it basically cancel well, out since S is 30? We're gonna, we'll see, man. We'll, nice. we'll see. Be best res dot count. A bit more stress on. I don't need that. Uh,
Oh my goodness, I don't have any time left. Oh. Even if I wanted to do this, I couldn't. Do this fast if I need. How do you count bits in a integer? Uh, built-in pop count. Here, wait, let me, um, is it long integer or just normal? Normal. Two underscores built-in pop count x. Oh, nice. Is not getting anywhere. Uh, <clears throat> and just n squared over k or something. Uh, square root's getting nowhere. Curse you, militants, plums. Curse Why you, you plum? curse you, virus. <laughs> oh. That's actually that's actually a relevant curse nowadays. Yeah. DP two. We can do DP one and DP two. Now what? <laughs> now what? <laughs> what, 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 now what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, for auto check in GPU two, it set max temp store equals to check dot. First, door x score equals to q. If dp1 that finds store, I go dp1 end, and it's equals min dp1 store plus dp check dot second, and Runtime error? Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Oh my goodness, no, no. What is this long string of error? Sometimes I like accidentally paste my entire code as input and then it takes like 10 minutes for it to fully like do all of the compile errors because it... <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> They're not compile errors, but like stuff. Why is it? Why, why is there an error? Why is that an error? What is going on here? I don't even know. So just like a bunch of edges. I'm going to be on and off in some interval. When it's on, after it stops being on, everything else is like.
Oh. Okay. It's not be dynamic connectivity. <laughs> I'm mad if it is. Oh, <laughs> 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 Discord. God. Uh, I, do I have to? Oh, I have to hash this, don't I? I'm getting nowhere on H. Nobody solved N. Wow. How do I? Uh, do you know how to hash something? Hash a bit set? Uh, no. I mean, you can do like powers of two mods something. No, Tim did the built in hash. For bit set? Yeah. What nice. is it? Um. I'll use some of my 25 pages. By the way, we're not beating terrorists anymore, in case you were wondering. Darn. He has, um, he has seven problems. Oh my goodness. You do it like... Oh, is it just size T? You, you make a... Hash? You have to make a hash function. So, no, you, you just do... Here, I'll, I'll just copy this. Just go there. Okay. Well, we're going to see what happens. When I try doing this, because apparently a map can't map to a bit set, which is why I'm like, what the heck? Wait, why not? That's weird. Like, uh, order map or like regular map? No, bit sets are just not comparable. Huh. Oh, that would make sense. It's like a list. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Uh, hash bit set max hash fn. Sure. And then, wait, is size t comparable? Wait, is this like a built-in thing? Because if so, you can just use unordered map. Really? I think so. Is that the okay. bottleneck? Because unordered map is like quite slow. Well, we're gonna find out. You could try it, and then we could. Um, you know, I don't. I'm not even sure this will even pass samples. We're allowed to look up current. documentation. Oh, wait, it doesn't run time error. I don't get fifty pages yelling at me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> with my compilation error, so nice. What problem is this? Problem L. All right, I get eight every single time. That's not right. Ouch. Wait, how is it eight? Uh, good question. Nice. Oh wait, of course it's eight. Cause I, I'm built in pop counting the. No, I'm not even built cop, cop, cop counting the mask. I'm just nice. building pop counting the number the length of the string. <laughs> nice. Um, how do you how do you include this? Oh, it passes samples. Well, submit. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go to. I'm fairly certain this is, this is not going to work. That's fine. Limits <laughs> are fine. We just got to try it. What? Run time error. What? It doesn't even help. Okay, what's happening here? So, 
max equals a thousand uh, fast IO vector bit set max. Is that the problem? That shouldn't be the problem. What's the what's going on? It shouldn't. I shouldn't be. Math, bit set max int. Wait, I don't think that should. Um. Why? Why am I getting runtime error? That doesn't make any sense, right? No, it doesn't. I'm gonna plug it into custom invocation. Just okay, wait, it does show me the I can scan the code, see what's happening, I guess. I don't know. Wait, no, it says sanitizer. Shadow bites. This tells me absolutely nothing. Yeah, that is not Please, useful. Bro. Count the number of times I try and save the web page. Same for B. Well, why is this runtime here? Okay, I'm trying to find the place where it does. Um, Okay, so it's somewhere in the bit mask thing. In the bit mask thing? That doesn't make sense, right? I mean, yeah, I don't know. 2 to the J and mask. Where does this happen? One. Oh, it doesn't cut off. Oh, it dies at um, 32, which is something. Thin X. So what? the loop dies when mask is 32. Is that a problem? No. Is that significant? Because it's, it's 2 to the 5th. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so stupid. <laughs> the size is less than 15. How how would that work under any circumstances? Nice. Oh, it's past test case. Yeah, it's dying. Well. Come on. That's six. Nah, it's gonna Come die. On. Wait, what, what, what is... Wait, I can probably... Doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. Maybe if I sure whatever make it two thirds. Maybe I, let me try making it two thirds instead, right? Because like the bottom, I think the bottleneck right now is the queries. Sure. What? Whoa! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! What? <laughs> oh. Timmy! Oh! We changed me in the middle. Wait, that's definitely not the right solution. This is like two to a thousand. Oh my Timmy. god! You legend. Bit mask oh G. Wait, we use unordered map. <laughs> what the hell? How did that happen? Wait, but then it got time to make the agent. Oh that wait, no, that was the other one. Wait, wait, so wait. What? Why did did you just submit again? Why did you submit twice? Runtime errors. Because the first one was hanging, so like we knew it was gonna die somewhere. Oh, uh, I see. So we submitted the second one with a small fix or something. Yeah, what I don't know, what happens is you don't meet exactly in the middle. You can do two thirds meet because, like, nice. Uh, um, you spend much more time on like the query step, right? Because like you do one thousand times two to the fifteen times like a thousand again. Yeah. So you can in wait one year and not, in one year and not the other year for me. So but, okay, good job. Man. We still didn't beat Danny. Oh wait, they got six problems. Oh, they got. Oh, they eventually got. No, no, um, no, no wait, don't, don't say that. We can get eight. In three minutes. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. I, I just solved M. Uh huh. Wait. Is it Misaka Mikoto with Danny's alt? I thought it was Electromaster. It's just one below. He does have Electromaster. I don't know if uh, that one is. Oh my goodness. That, this is. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh shoot. They got 40 second place at Graken. 
How many? Uh, I want to know what the status is for L, like the 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 run times. What are the run times? I don't think I did this correctly. <laughs> I okay, just, a lot I of TLEs on test 11s. Um, 11 22, 9, 20, 9 35, 11 38, 15 44, 7 48. We did, I think we did pretty well. This is yeah. not bad. This is good. I got totally carried. You guys are amazing. No, no I, solved, I solved a single problem. I solved B. I solved the I easiest solved one. JKL. Yeah. They were, they were, J and K were math problems. They were just complete. I, 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 okay, J should not have taken me so long. So Timmy, Timmy math, <laughs> carry. Gabe, yeah. carry with F. I paste in flows. <laughs> Wait, Tim, how did you solve J? What, what, oh, so no, J is actually pretty really cool, right? If you draw out the table, right? It's sort of like yeah. 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2 on one side, right? And then it's sort of like 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2 on the other table, right? Like, it's a it's a table, right? So, like, on the uh, on the, on the row columns, you label 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, right? Okay. And then on the on the rows, you label 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2 to the infinity, dot, 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 right? Yeah. And basically, you want to f propagate this table with zeros and ones as some way, right? Okay. So, basically, the main idea is that, like, you look yeah. down, so instead of looking down the rows, you look down the columns, right? So those are just binary numbers, right? If you look down the columns. Yeah. So it's just 2 to the 0 times some number, plus 2 to the 1 times num some number, plus 2 squared times some number. Right? Oh, oh so I see. X plus 2Y plus 4Z equals to M. And you just want to find the number of solutions to that. And then I just engineered induction that one. Okay, I sure I'll take your it. Good, 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 good job. Wait, wait, do you do you understand the solution? Uh, no, I'll, I'll have to think about it. It's just like there's a you just pretend the column is a number, right? Because it's sort of written in binary, except you multiply everything in the column by two to the zero, or two to the one or two squared. Sure. And then the other problem I don't know how to do still. I mean, no. M is kind of nutty. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. And that was funny. I was just kind of. It's just made a fool out of me. Wait, I still don't. I, okay, I need to probably look at the proof for K again because I engineers inductioned it. Because like, what happened was like I get first guess it was the number of primes less than or equal to n over two, and then that failed. And I'm like, I mean, between n over two and n, and then like, what if it's the number of primes between square root n and n? <laughs> that passed on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good job, guys. Nice. Wait, I want to see. Wait, did Danny's team get F? Uh, yes, eventually. Okay, it's that makes Danny, sense. Danny invented F. Yeah, he invented F. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm not sure he wrote it, but. Uh... Let me see. Hey, I think he actually. I think there was some story about him not solving it in testing or something. <laughs> or, I mean, when he. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he had the same solution. Okay. Wait, no, wait I want to see. Who, what the, is there an editorial for this? But it was in Java. Is there an editorial for this? Where's that? Okay, I'm pretty sure the alts he has are like people from TJ. It's just like they're alts of the people from TJ. Really? But yeah, because well, it's sure. got like it's got and their where? templates. Like it has Ray's like weird um No. It has this, like, the Ray by Bombcar Bito Bing, that one. Something Wait, like there's that. no yeah. there's no tutorial. Wait. Well how do you solve how do you solve L legitimately? <laughs> of... I don't know. Oh, and uh, one of the ones has like string bracket bracket omkar, which I remember is one of their things. What the heck? How do you do DFS on a bit string? A what? <laughs> I see DFS functions in uh, the first guy solution, Yosef. <laughs> Wait, what? Nice. I don't think Jap we did this Japanese heads are so good. They got. Oh. Wait, did it. Wait how, how did Omnic solve it? Oh, Omnic also did what we did. Yeah, he did Bitmask, I think. Nice. To me, you're just like, God. I know, that was just dumb. That was just me in the middle Bitmask bash. I just thought N equals 30. Yeah, this guy also did Bitmask. Oh, wait, so Bitmask was the intended solution. Wait, no, there's also DFS solution, apparently. Also, the spreadsheet just, like, totally got lost. Oh, wait, then, wait, I'm curious. What the heck was the H's solution, right? H was 
chronological segment tree? Is that persistent segment tree? I think that's the thing that I heard of from CP algorithms but forgot about. I don't remember yeah, how to do it. Chronological, okay, I don't know what that is. Let's see Umnix. It's some weird, like... Um, oh, he did, like, segment tree also. He did some stack segment tree. Not segment tree, no. We're not, yeah, stack yeah, segment tree. Deleting from a data structure in T of N log N. Oh, I've seen that before. I saw that post a long time ago. Yeah. But I forgot how it worked. Now, to process all queries, we'll run a D... Oh, it's offline. Oh, my God. We're on a DFS on the segment tree. When entering the node, we'll add all the elements that are inside the node. When leaving the node, we must undo the additions. Oh, we, we, our penalty was pretty good for five prompts, I think, actually. Are we supposed yeah. to do rollback for that, then? Oh, we can roll back the ch Oh, we can keep a stack of changes, I see. Uh, I that, should that's probably... weird because queries cause changes. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Well, whatever. I think I'll end the video here, I guess. Yeah. Goodbye, right. guys. If you okay. enjoyed, Bye. if you somehow are here still, thank you for watching. Yeah. All right. I don't know how you like, would be, but. Leave a comment down in the section below. Yeah. <laughs> Remember to orse these guys. Because I haven't done it enough. Okay, bye.